Welcome back. My name is Michael Crom from Solid Line Media, and I am the director of post production. And today I am going to go over Avid Tip number four. It's really important to always duplicate your sequences. That way you can always step back to a previous cut if you're not happy with what you're working on. So let's just open up a sequence bin. I will load up the top sequence. I always work from bottom to top to make sure the most recent sequence is on the top. And part of that is I start by labeling the client name, the actual project, the video name, the version that we're on. And here we'll do uh, three different versions. We'll do rough cut, as you can see down here. Then we'll move up to final cut, FC, and then picture lock here, PL. And I always date everything. That way I kind of can step back and look at notes, edit notes, and make sure they correspond with the right, uh, correct day that I'm working on. From there, in terms of duplicating, I'll kind of show you how this works. And you can kind of tell right here, I moved from a Final Cut version on the 30th of April, and I moved up here to the Picture Lock version, and then did underscore two. So what you do here is you highlight the sequence, right click, go down to duplicate, and then it, you can tell here it makes a copy, and I will highlight this, hit three, and enter, which allows me to have a new sequence. And you can tell it's still a picture lock version, so I didn't have to change that. I just made a new uh, in sequential order three at the top. You always want to make sure you go and re-double click this sequence, so that is the proper one that opens in the timeline. And that's my fourth avid tip is making sure that you label sequences the same way every time. That way multiple editors can always step into your project and know exactly what is the most current and up-to-date sequence. So, looking forward to seeing you next time.